30 on the button on time this morning. That's kind of a scary thought considering this radio program. But that's... Oh, thank you for the round of applause. But that's good because it means we've got time to sink our teeth into a real thorny legal issue now on Ask the Lawyer with Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. As we do every Wednesday at this time, if you've submitted a question previously, it might be the one we're about to focus on here. If you'd like to submit a question or something comes up in life that prompts you to want to submit a question, I'll tell you how to go about that as well in just a moment. But first, would you please help me welcome Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. Good morning, Bruce. Hey, good morning, Todd. How are you doing this morning? Excellent. And how are you? Doing well, thank you. That's what I expect every Wednesday. I never have heard Bruce Shiner even once say, oh, I'm not doing so good today. Always doing well, which is wonderful. Yeah, hey, uh, we don't have any other choice. <laughs> and that level of optimism also tends to uh, support us in times when you hear things that aren't so pleasant, like we're about to hear. As I was commenting earlier on this program this morning, we get these kinds of questions every few months, and that is way too often. Thankfully, Bruce has a notorious sense of um, compassion when it comes to these problems. So are you ready for us to get into it here? Yes, sir. All right. Here's what today's email says. While staying at a famous attraction resort, I booked my 17-year-old daughter a 60-minute massage at the spa. During the massage, the masseuse touched my minor daughter inappropriately to the extent we decided to press charges for sexual assault. The police took my daughter's statement, later arrested the masseuse, and charged him with sexual assault on a minor. My daughter has been severely traumatized and has been in therapy for depression and anxiety for months. This person had been previously charged with sexual assault at another facility. When I contacted the hotel about paying for my daughter's therapy and counseling, they indicated that the spa was owned and operated by an independent company that has since gone out of business. We had no idea this was an independent company as it was billed through the hotel. The hotel manager is saying that you're not responsible. Can your lawyer friend help? Well, I'm positive of that, but I don't know (laughs) how to even begin with something like this. Bruce, give us your legendary, compassionate look at this, and what do you think? Well, first of all, it turns my stomach to see that. Yeah. You know, people are away at a famous attraction trying to have a good time. Mm -hmm. And something like this happens. It's shameful. You know, my my heart goes out to them. But as far as legal recourse, I believe that the hotel is responsible. First of all, they booked the massage through the hotel. So it's apparent authority. There's no way to know that it's not the hotel's. Mm -hmm. number one and and number two they shouldn't have someone working there that had a prior um, offense you know this um, masseuse had a similar incident at another place and they should never have let him work there right you know uh, when these big hotel chains big resort chains whatever they allow a third party to come in and offer these services I would think when they're negotiating, there's got to be a contract or something, that'd be one of the requirements is you you can't hire somebody and let them be on our property if they have a background like this. Don't they go in to to check that kind of thing? Well, they have a duty to do that. Whether they do it or not, everybody doesn't always do what they're supposed to. True. True. Not a perfect world. This young lady is entitled to substantial compensation for her pain and suffering, mainly her mental and emotional pain and suffering and inconvenience caused by this incident. And she could likely, very likely, have lifelong consequences from this incident. Absolutely, and, you know, she's entitled to a substantial recovery. You know, as as I was saying a moment ago about this being big corporation, we're talking about a big corporation that subcontracts they add services to another big corporation, and, and there's insurance on both, I'm sure, which are also big corporations. This would not be something for a layperson to try and figure out. No, they should contact an experienced personal injury lawyer as soon as possible. And when I say experience, experience in this limited field because, mm-hmm. you know, you have to have compassion and you have to know 
you know, the ins and outs of right. the um, sexual molestation cases. And that's been kind of harping on the word compassion here because th- there are plenty of attorneys that would take the case, but you really want somebody who is going to be as sympathetic and empathetic as can possibly be. Absolutely, Ty. Okay. Well, Bruce, it does look like there is some compensation out there. It just has to be tracked down by somebody who knows the ins and outs of the system. So thank you uh, for what appears to be a little bit of a light at the end of the tunnel. It's my pleasure, Todd. I look forward to our meeting next Wednesday morning. Sounds good. You have a great week in the meantime. Thank you, Todd. All right. Take care now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. And an answer that, uh, unfortunately, nobody likes to have to give, but still these problems keep coming up. I know I speak for Bruce when I say he wishes he never had to deal with a case like this again. If you find yourself in similar circumstances, well, you can send us a question just like this. Submit questions through our website. Go there and type in the keyword Bruce to go to the right place. And uh, if you have a problem like this, it might be more effective to go right to the Port Charlotte office of Bruce L. Shiner and see if perhaps they can get you some more immediate help. I'm sure they can. One phone call will make a big difference. Simply call 941-743-7777. 941-743-7777. And tell them that Todd sent you from Kicks Country 92.9.